Let's get. Let's continue then. Um, so, uh, Love Shang here playing as the Huns once again, and um, F G Lang not uh, letting go of his Huns Sif either. And look at this uh, town center. He um, Love Shang won't be able to to put a whole lot of farms right here, but in the you know, early game it really won't matter because this guy has three boars at his disposal and look at this. These guys are starting close. Nice. This can make for some uh, this can cause some friction. Something I like to see in Nomad games. Last game it was fairly linear, you know. Just putting up some dogs to the Kelly Rush standard thing and uh, patching up the rest. But this man, it's um yeah, it's gonna be a tricky game. Okay, Jing Wai being the first to put up his town center, but um, but the thing is, Lang here, let's see, where are his um, boar, if he has any, so to say. Well, there is one here, and there are two right here, but uh, yeah, there you go. Lo Shang now spotting the town center of, um, of uh, Lang, so he knows now he knows now that uh, that that Lang is right here, and he lost the villagers. So uh, putting Jingwa um, back again, even though his spot is better, he already lost one villager. And yeah, Lang is uh, scouting, scouting, scouting because he wants to see some boar, and he did find them. And you know, with some loom and one sheep, he could definitely be looking into luring this boar. He might be lazy and um, might be lazy and mill them but oh this is what uh, Love Shang was doing he was laming the deer oh man what a lamer boy Lang now putting up a dog man these guys they want to it almost feels like they want to poke each other so bad look at this man absolutely crazy that they decided to put the dog on the same about the same spot and Love Shang is he going to scout it no no not going to scout it so even more so, crazy games already. Lang putting up a watchtower and he is going to patch things up. Being the Chinese player that he is, of course. And, well, at least he is... Um, he has made a start. Optimistically, he made a start. And I do wonder though... Yeah, I guess uh, Lo Shang is not going for the berries. No, instead he will probably go for the fish boom. And... It, uh, it should be Lang that is uh, worried now. Ah, there you go. Going for the boarder. So even though he is kind of late bringing in his first boar, he should be like, you know, okay-ish. He should be, he should be fine. Ching uh, Love Shang here, um, stealing the sheep right from the back of uh, Lang, and he will have to move, like all the way from uh, to here to uh, get some more sheep. But he kind of has to because these boar are almost done with and then then what you know I'm not sure if three fishing ships will keep up villager production so he ha he kind of has to fall back into these kind of uh, things oh look at this look at this labor boy trying to deny the the boiler of uh, Lang, man, crazy games. Oh, look at this, and yeah, he lost the villager. Oh man, successful lame, and now he is even going to steal the boar. Man, this is some good gameplay right here from uh, Lo Shang. And yeah, Lang, you better be uh, giving up because this, uh, I mean, like giving up trying to get this boar because you are not going to get it. Oh, nice. Yeah, Jingwa, because of this being, uh, he is ahead in terms of villagers and also up to um, feudal age earlier. Now, this is a situation where I'm not really sure if he's going for the fast castle or not. I'll have to wait and see. Um, because, you know, he could be going for uh, galleys as well, um, killing all these fishing ships first and then um, go for, for castle age. But, man, I, I thought... Uh, Love Shang's position was good right here, but look at this. He doesn't uh, has 
he doesn't have any gold, so he has to take uh, Lang's gold here. But of course, Lang is not going to let that happen. And yeah, he's going to be, uh, let's see, villager kills maybe. Uh, no, not yet, but man, Diaspora right here. Uh, these villagers are being chased to all the corners of the world. And I guess they're going to be dead, man. One villager dead, running right into the town center. I'm not sure why he was doing that. Of course, he, he doesn't really have any choice. Uh, running into the wall right here. And... Man, it's it's a uh, it's a chaotic gameplay, but that's what I do love about Nomad. It's uh, unpredictable. It's uh, chaotic, and and it can make for some nice games. Love Shang, he was he still is ahead uh, with population, but man, these guys are going to be dead, and um, that will put uh, Lang in a better position. Now, uh, Love Shang here going for some sort of a tower rush he kind of has to because he doesn't have any gold now looking at his resources i was already looking at it he he can't really mine any gold unless of course he is going for this gold right here which he should be seeing right now yes so he, that's that's about the only the only option he has unless of course he wants to be running all the way right here to go to take this gold but as for now uh, wow, he's going Scout Rush and Tower Rush. Nice combination of tactics right there. And... Yeah, but still, man. In the end, you do need gold. Are there any galleys yet? Yes, there are. Wow. In the meantime, Love Shane casually putting out some uh, galleys to, uh, to get rid of the fishing ships of Lang. But Lang now doing the same. Uh, putting out some galleys of his own. And more towers coming out, but yeah, looking at this tower, this tower is on the hill. And um, yeah, Lang is doing fairly okay defending, defending right here. But still, this is about the only wood he has. He could be walking into here and take this wood line. Um, why, huh? why is Lushan going back, man? Why are you going back? Maybe he was in the range of the town center? Uh, I don't know. But man, bring in your scouts. You made, you made, you paid a whole lot of food for all these scouts, and now you are going to do nothing with them. What about that, man? Huh? By the way, in the meantime, Lang um, did lose his galleys, but he isn't really bothered by that at all because he is docking in the back. And with the help of these galleys, uh, these villagers might stay alive. But why did you stop with the building of the tower? I'm not sure. Anyway, another tower coming up. Um, yeah, look at, look at the population now. Lang is in a bad, bad position. Only 19 villagers, whereas um, Lovesheng here has 31. So definitely a good play by, um, by Lovesheng here, making, finally making the damage with his scouts. He has, of course, run all the way to here. Uh, but it looks like he at least he denied this tower. Wow, look at this. How much percent it was that, man? Uh, 95%. Looks like he is um, he still he still will, will be uh, putting down the tower. There you go. Tower made. Um, yeah, kind of a shame Lovshan couldn't uh, pull it off, like kill some more villagers. But still, he is in a, a good position. If he can keep this advantage, he should be all right. Yeah, this is uh, for for Lang now. This is the best thing to do. Uh, choose the other uh, wood line because this wood line no no uh, good uh, chopping right here. And let's see what did he? Oh, what happened right here? Looks like uh, uh, Lang was about to patch uh, things up with a quick wall, but he couldn't manage to uh, to kill. Uh, but he couldn't manage to bring it up early enough. And still, though, uh, Love Shang here losing his scouts, but Lang losing even more villagers. Villagers he already didn't really have. So it's getting only worse and worse. Or Lang. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, this tower is not going up. That's one thing that is for sure. Even though if you have an army of villagers, if uh, Lovesheng is going to notice, put these uh, villagers right inside of here. Yeah, already deleting the tower. I'm not even sure why he wanted to uh, put a tower right there. Maybe to defend or attack this stone, but no. Plans are not going to happen. And yeah, man, look at this. Jinghua, Lovesheng. Already up to the castle age. I was looking at this, I was thinking like he's almost up, but no, he is going up already. Whereas, um, yeah, Lang, oh man, oh man, oh man, Lang is in a bad position. Which is nice to see because uh, I would not have thought this ga these games would have been so crazy. Um, Love Shang here pulling the score, probably pulling the score back to 1-1. Um, yeah, there you go, GG. No chance whatsoever for Lang. Uh, good play by Lushing, nice. Quick game.